Elements Homebrew coming at ya. Today I've got another beer from Rich, uh, from Rich's World Beer Tour. Here it is. This is the Bad Axe Imperial IPA, and I do like my Imperials, IPAs, and otherwise. This one is from Big Wood Brewery, and it boasts 9.8% ABV and 76 IBUs. Now, I'm going to have a hard time, you know, uh, with straining myself from all the uh, bad cliches that I can come up with with this beer, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> the, their own website <laughs> has, a, has a section that, uh, on where to find their beer, and the little thing you can hover over to click on says, um, get wood. <laughs> So they play with it a little bit themselves. All right, so <laughs> one thing I want to mention before I get going with this review is that Rich's website had gone down, so he lost a lot of viewers. So he ended up creating a new channel, YouTube channel. So I'm going to have a link down below. Uh, please do check out Rich's uh, reviews. Uh, I would really encourage you to do that. It's Rich's World Beer Tour, but I will have a link for you. All right, well... The big question with this beer is, hmm, with a name like uh, Big Wood Brewery, is this thing all about overcompensation? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's get this can popped open. This was a pounder can. Can you tell? Look at that full glass. <laughs> and I've almost got a two-finger head on there. It's really a beautiful murky orange color. This is not so much amber, to me anyway, this is very orange. It's very nice looking, you know, light brown component. That's perfect. All right, let's get a nose on it. Oh, that's an interesting aroma. I mean, I'm definitely getting like some citrus. Uh, I think I got a little bit of stone fruit on it. And I'm getting some, a little bit of tropical, but I'm also getting like some mustiness to it. And uh, just a slight dankness, but kind of a musty, you know, in the woods aroma. I didn't, I didn't leave myself enough room to give it a swirl. Wow, there's some nice sweet tones. There's a little bit of maltiness, but there's just a, a light caramel, a light caramel sweetness on it. Uh, and I'm picking up... Uh, a little bit of like tropicalness, kind of like a hint of pineapple, a little bit of mango on there. I'm, I'm picking up like uh, some orange slash tangerine aromas on it. Maybe a light hint of grapefruit, but I, I'm, for me, I'm getting more of this like uh, orange tangerine type aromas. Sweet, sweet orange, sweet tangerine. But I do, I still get some of this like mustiness, almost a grassiness to it too. It's a, it's an interesting combination of aroma. And there's maybe like the slightest hint of some pine on it as well. So that's, uh, that's quite intriguing. All right, cheers. Whoa. All right, I wasn't ready. The taste, the taste was hitting me quite different. <laughs> In the nose, you kind of get this mental frame of mind because scent, you know, is so much of taste, and then for it to be so different somehow on the palate was just a shocker. All right, I'm gonna have a hard time describing this flavor. You get the sweetness right away, a hint of caramel, some other kind of sweetness I'm not quite getting, and then this kind of like musty, dank, not like the other dank, we've talked about that. But this dank mustiness, you know, kind of comes in and hits you. An interesting sweetness that I cannot quite describe. I don't, I don't have some words to put to it exactly. You know, I know some of that citrus is there. I know some of that orange is there. I know there's the hints of the tropical and so forth. But the sweet flavor is just very different. It's not exactly your dank. I go more with on the musty side. It's just very unique. So I'm going to take a moment to play with this a little bit. And I'm going to come back and hopefully be able to describe it better. Well, the first thing I want to mention real quick is there's some lacing on this, you know? Yeah, really pleasing on the eye. I love the color on it. This is a tough one to describe. I feel like I get 
like a little bit of a honey on here. Uh, I don't know that they've used honey. I'm just describing the, the, the taste and then the aromas that come up through the nose from that. And, but I feel like I'm getting uh, a bitterness and it's kind of an interesting bitterness. Uh, if I'm moving my arm around because the cat's down here, she wants to be on camera. Um, there's some interesting bitterness to it and part of it's really pleasing and part of it's not. Um, parts of it make me think of a, uh, a little bit of after you squeeze the juice out of a grape, more on the white grape side, and then you're chewing on the grape. These, that kind of an interesting taste, you know? So there's a bit of earthiness to it. There's a bit of a, a little bit of a bite on there. And, and you get a, a touch of the dankness too that, that the dank that I'm talking about, you get a hint of that. You get just a, a hint of some stone fruit. There's not much, but it's in there. Uh, you get some grapefruit, not surprising. By the way, I should mention the hops on this are Columbus and Centennial, good Northwest hops. I mean, I, you know, I love those hops. Um, so you're getting kind of a, a mix of these various things. You know, get, you get a, just a hint of tropical, you know, there's just a, a hint of some mango and pineapple, more in the nose than in the taste. Um, the grapefruit is there, but this quality of the bitterness with this really unique sweetness really makes me wonder what they did in terms of either the malts in this and or any adjuncts they may have put in. And I can't tell you, uh, they only tell you the hops. Now people that watch my reviews at all know that I love variety and I love different. So I'm rather enjoying this. I'll probably be feeling great because I mean, you know, this was a pounder. So, you know, this is a, a full 16 ounce can, but, um, and it's at 9.8%. I'm really divided on this one. That character from Batman, from the comic strips and movie, Two-Face, that's kind of how I feel. One side of me goes, oh, I love this beer. One side of me goes, that beer is horrible. Um, I don't know how to respond. It's, it is just that different. And I think that this is a beer that's going to probably divide people in two camps. For me, I embrace variety because I love variety overrides everything for me personally. So that's right. Rating is objective. <laughs> I've got to put it more towards the B plus category because I'm loving, I'm loving the difference in this. Just uh, I'm going to be sitting here pondering this still for a while. I'm going to give this one an 87 for style. I think um, that's kind of that B B plus range because um, I just think it has some really fun qualities. I think there are qualities in this that are worth exploring. And boy, I, I would really this is a beer I want to challenge people to go and try. You know, here's the can again. Uh, overall, overall on this one, wow, that's tough. I'm going to just take it straight across. I'm going to leave it at that same uh, 87. I, I'm just very confused by this beer, and I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying being confused. Rich, thank you. <laughs> this is a fun beer, and um, you may love it, and I assume you do if you send it to me. This is just a, one of those kind of beers, but I think overall it's a very, very good beer personally. I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this. I would say life's too short to drink cheap beer and I will see you in the next beer review. Cheers, everyone.